It's an awesome weekend for Star Wars fans. The merchandising has begun, which makes it a great weekend for RC enthusiasts because Air Hogs has created a Star Wars line of RC vehicles. This one right here, this is the Millennium Falcon. It's a quadcopter, drone, whatever you want to call it. It's got four props in here. It's got lights, it's got sounds, and it'll fly, which makes it really cool. Now, I don't usually buy the toy grade RCs. I buy the hobby grade toy RCs, uh, however you want to talk about it. But we're going to open up this box. We're going to see a little bit about the detailing that they've put into this because it looks really cool uh, from outside the box. Uh, give you a little bit of idea what it's made out of, how durable it feels, uh, and what it takes to fly it. And then we'll take it out and we'll get a quick test run on this thing and give you guys some video footage and a little bit of a review of how it is to fly. So let's get it out of this package. All right, so out of the box, here's what we've got. We've got a pre-flight checklist. Boom. Tells you what to do before you fly. Instruction manual. So they call this frame an exo frame. It's a very rubberized foam material. Um, plastic props. Got a little on-off switch and your charging point, port right on the top of the Millennium Falcon. The paint job on this is just superb. The detailing, the, the form that they've used for this to make these really good. You can see plastic in here. That's going to be the LED lighting for the back of it. Uh, it's got some on the top here. And then it's got, at the very front, some lights as well. So, very simple. Really cool looking remote controller. Stylings. Love the look of it. The gray and the beige, like the off-white cream color. The green Star Wars emblem. Um, inside of here, you've got your actual charging cable that'll plug into the top of the quad. But you can also plug into USB and you can use a computer or power source to go through the remote to charge it. Or if you've got the batteries in here, you can use your batteries to charge it up if you're out flying other places. So, very cool. Looking forward to getting this out, getting it in the air, and doing a test flight. Super cool. So, time to charge it. We got it charging. You can see the red light flashing on the controller. So, to charge, you plug in your controller into the top of the Millennium Falcon with the switch on off in the charge position as well. Place the cable in, and then you turn the remote on, and then you'll see this if everything is charging, and it'll be solid green when it is fully charged. So, I've used the optional USB, so I won't drain the battery in my remote. Uh, but if you're out flying and you've got a lot of battery juice, you can just charge the Millennium Falcon straight from the batteries inside of the controller. Alright, so that's a quick look at the Airhog Star Wars Millennium Falcon Quadcopter. I'm really excited about this. Before I go, I'm going to do a quick little test flight here in the studio. But check for the next video, guys. I'm going to be going outside and doing a test flight, a real test flight outside and I'll be posting that video and I'll also be doing a review of this after I have a little bit of time flying it in different scenarios. Da, da, da.
All right, so I should point out a few things. These are only supposed to be flown indoors. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to test it outside anyway. In heavier winds, light winds, and really just give it a, a, a good testing because it's really rugged. You can bounce this thing off of just about anything, and it just bounces right on back. Uh, keeps flying. What's nice is that all of this padding protects all the props. The the props in the this quadcopter are pretty tight, so steering and all that's pretty finicky. Um, but with all that guarding on it, it's going to be really hard to actually kind of mess it up. So have fun with it. Fly it inside. Let it bounce into things. And uh, yeah, I really want to get outside because it would look really cool if it was flying over some tall grasses, things like that, for some cool filming. So here we go, and we're out. I'm going to bring it in here. You'll notice the flashing lights on it, signaling that the battery is getting low. So we'll go ahead and we'll just stop it. See the, fl the flashing lights? Battery is getting low. This thing flies great indoors as long as you don't have fans or other things really disrupting the airflow. Um, but it's a really fun quadcopter to fly. And uh, I would say Airhogs has done a pretty good job. But we'll give a first test flight outside coming up next. Do the bad guy music. Kids love Star Wars. I remember when I was your age and we had that Millennium Falcon. Well, you guys actually have it now, don't you? My old Millennium Falcon? It's big and dirty, but it's pretty cool. Uh, the dirtier it is, the more it looks real. See? How dirty this one looks? Yeah. That's about how dirty ours is, right? Yeah. Well. It wasn't dirty when we got it, but now it looks like it's supposed to. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do because it crashes a lot. <laughs> that Han Solo. He can't fly, can he? Maybe it's Chewie. Uh, Chewie is um an animal, so maybe he crashes it more. When... 3PO is there with him. He's always crashing. Because he has no idea what driving is. No, because 3PO always slides in it and then it hits him. And then he, he, he let go of the thing. Wendy, can you give me that? This? Mm -hmm. You want this someday? Uh-huh. I then think I that this... Here's the deal, guys. Here's the... All right, guys, here's the deal. Judging on Dami's uh, unintended durability test where he came up and he literally grabbed this and bent it and said, that's not very strong. I think that this thing is going to be really durable. That should have snapped if it was my RC plane. That would have just broke that foam right apart. So I think you guys will be able to try and fly it. Sure. How does that sound? Yeah. And, if you, and it's real cheap. And but if you what I cheap, wanted you is I get it. Because then I don't really have. Why do you have another thing in here? <gasps> <laughs> what other thing? That. This X wing. Did mm -hmm. you not see this one before? Mhm. Mm That's gonna fly after. People can look forward to seeing this and be excited like you seeing it the first Will time. Will you find that? Can I look at this? Do you want to look at it right now? Mm -hmm. Turn it towards you. Take a look. What do you think? I mean, like, open, like, open the box. Out of the box. Because I can't really see that wing under there. That wing. Why can't I try flying it? That one is actually a harder one to fly, I think, than the Millennium Falcon. Why can't I try that one? You try this one. We can try them both. How's that? Okay. They say they're really durable. Oh, we're telling people how good these products are and if they should let their kids fly them. Now it says on the box, Dominic, it's 10 years plus. But I think at 6 years old, 
five years old. If your dad, if your dad does RCs, then you get to try RCs, because both of them say ten years plus. But they just look like too much fun to not let a kid give it a try. Okay, I'll try.